But in today's glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually complete the Harvest Stone and the, um, the melee damage to structures. The other ones you can't really get done. I guess you could do like the quick, ch uh, quick challenges, the daily challenges. It depends on which ones you guys have. But to get the melee damage to structures in the um, Harvest Stone, Harvest Stone, once I like log into the game, you automatically get spawned with 10k. But I'm going to make that with a different video because I'm actually going to collect 250,000 uh, stone in one in one uh, day. So today, so if you guys want to check out the video, you guys can. But today's focus is going to be the melee damage to structures. I'm going to show you guys a glitch that I figured out for that uh, challenge. So you guys want to go into the creative showcase, which is the pit LTM. You could do fill or no fill, whatever you want, but you want to queue into that. So let's queue into that. Now I'll show you guys, I'm, I'm actually going to get the, um, while I'm doing that, because I get spawned with 10k stone automatically, I'll be getting this one done too. So I could kind of show you guys that in the beginning once I queue in, and then I'll show you guys how to get the melee damage to structures. Okay, we're on the loading screen now. And depending on where you stand for those milestones, it may take you longer, but if you've been playing like every day, like I have, I don't really grind, but I do play like mainly, mostly every day for a couple hours just to keep my um my challenges up to date so if you're like me you should be able to get these done while the uh pit ltm is showcased because once it's gone you pretty much can't do it you can only do it right now while it's an actual ltm so definitely take advantage but so i'm in game now so you want to wait till it loads in we got a lot of default Okay, so I'm gonna get the stone one done, the 100k. Yeah, oh, it just popped up right now. And I unlocked the loading screen, that's cool. So that one's done, as you can see, just for having 10k stone. Right there. And then what you guys wanna do for the other challenge. Oh wait, I'm not trying to emo, I'm trying to show my challenges. I actually can't show them. Wait, can I go to... Can you hit V points in here? I don't know, probably not. But um, what you guys wanna do is... Get an impulse grenade. Impulse grenade. That's all you guys do uh, do really need. You guys could get a shotgun if you guys want, but I'm just going to stick with an impulse grenade. I'll take a couple of fish too. And what you guys want to do is actually destroy opponent structures by... I guess bouncing into them with an impulse grenade. So I'm going to go like inside of this right here. And I'm just going to keep using it. Just like that. You guys just want to keep doing that all game. That was kind of a bad one. Let me go all in the bottom. Go in here. That was a good one. So just keep doing that. There we go. That one was kind of good. Until you keep breaking structures. Okay, I didn't get any with that one. That one was like really bad. Let me do it again. Okay, that one was really bad too. I'm not really that good at this. But you just want to keep doing it, you'll eventually get it. I don't really use these a lot, but I don't know if I'm doing it right. But you guys just want to keep doing that. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, do it right there. Melee damage to structures actually just popped up, so I got that done. Yeah, you guys just want to keep doing that. And now... So I got two milestones done just like that. The stone one, just for like logging, for um, queuing into the match. And then just by using impulse grenade and destroying structures by throwing myself into them with an impulse grenade, actually got me that one done. So I could actually leave the match now. And now I can show you guys how much I leveled up. I did level up once because I think it's only like 15,000 XP per milestone. Sometimes 22,000, it just depends on the stage. But let's check out my XP now. I like Lord Goon. That's actually kind of clean, not gonna lie. But I'll take that. Take it. Might, might as well equip it. Why not? Equip that. And now let's check out my milestones. See, they actually run away and they won't show up. So the 50,000 uh, XP with melee damage was actually the final stage. So that one's gone. And then the next stage for the collect stone is 250,000. 
and I'll show you guys that in another video how to keep just like how to do that in one match in one game uh, not one game but one day I'll upload that right after I upload this video but that's gonna show up once I get to probably about 200,000 stone collected it'll probably show up because once you're getting close to completing it then it will show up and then the melee damage one is obviously gone so if they're both gone that means you got the stage or the whole milestone in general done and yeah, that's all you guys want to do. Use impulse grenades to destroy opponent structures. Or you could do it in Team Rumble, but it's going to take you way longer. Because in the pit LTM, you get unlimited impulse grenades. And then there's Q in just to get the 10k um, uh, stone. That easy. So I literally got those two milestones done in one match. So hopefully this video did help you guys out. It's kind of an exploit. It's not really an exploit. I believe they do know about this. So the pit LTM does actually count for the challenges. And I guess it counts for, um, hitting weak points too. And some other stuff that you probably, like, I can't do any of these in the LTM. But if they spawn, like, mushrooms and bananas, that would be so easy. But yeah, the main one is to queue in just to get the 10k stone. And then get, get yourself some imp uh, impulse grenades. I'm not that good with them, but as you could see, uh, it's kind of easy. Like, I don't really use impulse grenades like that, but I was able to get it done really quick. So you guys just want to destroy enemy structures with a melee weapon, but... You can also use the impulse grenade, so that's kind of the exploit. But hopefully this video did help you guys out, and if it did, make sure to drop a like. And I made a video on the Rebooter Friend and how to actually uh, join that, so if you guys want to check out that video, you guys can. But I'm going to end it with that note, hopefully this video did help you guys out in some way. And if you guys want to support me even more, you guys could use my creator code. Which if it loads up, I'll show you guys it in a second. There we go, my code is the brothers. We got some new skins, we got Kane back in the item shop. We got his female counterpart, Cutie Pie. And we got a bunch of Christmas stuff, honestly. This uh, shop is kind of lit. But yeah, that's my code. We got going to use it. But I'm going to end it with that note. And that's pretty much all I got. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And I'm going to end it with, I don't know, the fishing emote. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And I'm out.